Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. Jason Jones back with another episode of Health Made Easy. I hope that you learned a lot and really love those uh, goal setting um, podcasts that we put out last month. If you missed those, go back and check those out. This month, we're going to all be talking about taking care of your BS problem. Many people have so many problems with their BS. Um, there's so much uh, BS out there uh, in the world or BS problems out there in the world. Um, you may be wondering what in the world I'm talking about, <laughs> what BS stands for. It stands for blood sugar. Um, there's tons of blood sugar problems out there. Some of those are diagnosed. Some of those are not diagnosed. Some of those are clinical. Some are subclinical. Uh, some people are aware of them, and some people are not. Um, so we're going to do a quick four-part series on things that you can do to help not only with uh, things like sugar cravings and, um, and regulating your blood sugar, but they're going to, we're going to pack a lot of stuff into these next four episodes. We're going to keep them short and sweet. uh, No pun intended, but just hang in there and, um, and we'll, we'll get going on today. What we're going to do is we're going to give you six tips for dealing with sugar cravings. Now, sugar cravings are extremely common. In fact, various health experts think that it could be the re- main reason uh, for not sticking to a healthy diet. And I think for some people that's very true. Um, you should know that cravings really stem from the gut and the brain uh, rather than um, what you might think they come from. So when the brain feels the need to get a reward, it seeks out a craving. If you are able to regulate your consumption, um, then you can go ahead and satisfy your craving. However, most of us have a hard time with that because uh, even when we have a small bite, it'll make you binge eat um, when you should try your best to really be fighting the urge. And I know that happens for me. Um, This guide will help you learn, um, you know, the ins and the outs of regulating your sugar cravings. So the first one is satisfy your cravings with a healthy meal. Fill up on a healthy meal. Uh, A craving almost always has nothing to do with hunger. Uh, This means that you could be very satisfied after enjoying a meal and still have some room to consume like your sugary treats. Um, This is because the brain is the pleasure center and it desires a specific sugary treat for pleasure, especially if we become accustomed to that. Um, This has to do with uh, the dopamine that's released uh, in the brain uh, that works as our reward system. So anytime we do anything, I mean, addictions are like this. Um, For some people, it's like a running high. You get a dopamine hit with that, and you also get it with sugary foods as well. Um, You know, this is why it's very hard to resist the urge. A healthy meal might help fight the urge, uh, but stocking your home with healthy treats such as nuts and fruits uh, will also help you deal with the urge as well. Other foods, um, you know, you could opt for including things like eggs and fish. Those are really great because the protein in those uh, help you uh, handle Um, those cravings, and also could help you lose some weight as well. Uh, The second one is uh, taking a hot shower. Uh, For some people, uh, they've reported they get relief from hot showers when they're experiencing sugar cravings. Uh, The water should be uncomfortable enough to divert your brain's attention from the cravings. Uh, The shower uh, should last between uh, 1 and 10 minutes. Uh, This will give you the feeling, um, you know, kind of like you've been in a sauna, if you will. The third one is going to be taking walks. Uh, If you prefer running, go for it. Uh, This will definitely help uh, create some distance between you and the source of that craving, and it will help your body release uh, endorphin chemicals that will help you fight that urge. Uh, If it's not possible to do that, then you could do some home exercises. Um, They also will give you the same chemical result, things like squats, push-ups, burpees. You pick the exercise, just anything that's going to divert your attention uh, from the craving. The fourth thing, Uh, is to get rid of the junk food. Uh, If you store junk food uh, in the vicinity, um, then fighting the urge is like almost impossible. Um, You will definitely succumb sooner rather than later. So really clean the pantry out and replace it with some healthier options. Um, Five is
is going to be to hydrate yourself. Some people just report, you know, drinking a few glasses of water, their cravings are either reduced or totally gone. You can definitely try this option out. Uh, and the last one is to have some sugary fruits. Your body is wanting some sugar. Maybe it needs some. Um, you know, you can include apples, oranges, bananas, even melons, among other things. Um, the sugar, it, you know, from a natural source is going to help to satisfy that urge, um, even when, um, you know, and certainly better than a processed food, you know, such as ice cream or something or a bagel or something like that. So uh, try these six out. Uh, if you like this podcast episode, uh, definitely go on iTunes, give us a quick review. Uh, really appreciate it. Certainly love you forever for that. Um, we'll see you guys on the very next podcast. Take care and uh, be back for the next episode because uh, we're going to dive deep on uh, on this topic. See you guys later. Bye-bye.